Have you ever dreamed of beating Wall Street at its own game? Today, we're going to find out how one book not only challenged everything I knew about investing, but also changed the way I looked at it entirely. Welcome to the journey through Peter Lynch's One Step Ahead of Wall Street. This is not just another book on investing. It is a revolutionary guide written by one of the greatest investors of all time. In this video, we will break down the 10 essential keys that Peter Lynch teaches us and how to apply these lessons not only to better understand the world of investments, but to master it. Whether you are just starting out in the world of investing or are a veteran looking for that extra edge, these keys will be of great help to you. And best of all, I'll share with you how these teachings transformed my approach and financial results. Let's get started. First, it's crucial to understand who Peter Lynch is and why his words carry so much weight. Lynch is not just an author. He is a legend in the investment world. Born in 1944, he grew up in a modest home in Boston and from a young age showed a keen interest in the world of finance. His career really took off when he joined Fidelity Investments in 1969, but it was in 1977, becoming head of the Fidelity Magellan Fund, that Lynch made his name. Under his leadership, the fund not only grew in size, but also in performance, outperforming the stock market year after year. What distinguished Lynch from other investors was his investment philosophy. He focused on what he knew and understood, opting for an investing in the familiar strategy. This approach, although simple, was radically different from the norm in Wall Street at that time. During his career, Lynch not only demonstrated that it was possible for an individual investor to outperform Wall Street professionals, but he also taught us that you don't need to be a financial expert to be successful in investing. It is this accessible and pragmatic mindset that makes his teachings still relevant today. Now, let's look at the seven keys he shared in his book, One Step Ahead of Wall Street, and how we can apply them in our own investing journey. Peter Lynch's first key is simple but powerful. Invest in what you know. Lynch firmly believes that the best investment opportunities are often hidden in our daily lives. Whether it's a clothing brand we love or a restaurant where there's always a line, these everyday experiences can be indicators of a good investment. Think about it, how many times have you seen a product or service gain popularity and thought, I knew it would be a hit? Lynch encourages us to capitalize on those kinds of intuitions. For example, I invested in a technology company that I knew well from its presence in my daily work. I understood its value and potential, which gave me the confidence to invest. Another example could be doctors should look for opportunities in medical or pharmaceutical companies, since they are involved in their daily lives and know them well, more than in other types of companies that are outside their circle of competence. This approach also keeps us on familiar ground, reducing the risk of falling into investment traps about businesses or industries we don't fully understand. However, Lynch cautions that this doesn't mean investing blindly in every product we like. The key is the Investing in what you know is not only about recognizing good products or services, but also about understanding how a company operates, its position in the market, and its future prospects. This means doing your homework, studying the company's financial statements, understanding its business strategy, and evaluating its competition. So, the next time you find yourself enjoying a product or service, think about this. Could this be my next great investment opportunity? Explore, research, and you might discover that your everyday life is full of hidden investment opportunities, just like Peter Lynch taught us. Peter Lynch's second key is challenging and counterintuitive, I. In a world where there are new predictions about the economy and stock markets every day, Lynch advises us to ignore all that noise. According to him, paying too much attention to these predictions can lead us to make impulsive and ill-informed investment decisions. Think about how many times you've heard alarmist predictions that never materialized or optimistic forecasts that failed. In my experience, I've learned that reacting to every forecast or piece of news can be detrimental to my long-term investment strategy. Instead, I, I focus on the quality and long-term growth potential of the companies in which I invest. Lynch teaches us that the focus should be on fundamental analysis of companies, not on trying to guess or react to the whims of the market. This involves understanding the financial health of a company, its business model, its leadership, and its prospects of growth, instead of worrying about what might happen tomorrow in the stock market. The key here is patience and consistency. 
By ignoring market predictions and focusing on what really matters, we can make more informed decisions and, most importantly, align with our long-term investment goals. This does not mean ignoring completely the economic environment, but understanding that short-term fluctuations should not dictate our investment strategy. So, the next time you're faced with an alarmist headline or a bold market prediction, remember this key from Peter Lynch. Stay calm, stay focused, and stick to your investment strategy. In the end, it's what it pays in the investment world. The third key to Peter Lynch's investment approach is to look for undervalued companies. What exactly does this mean? It is to find those companies whose shares are trading at a price lower than what they are actually worth based on their financial fundamentals. This concept is at the heart of what is known as value investing, or value investing in English. Finding these companies requires a keen eye and detailed analysis. For example, I once invested in a financial company that was flying under the radar in the market, but had strong financials and significant growth potential. It was undervalued because the market had still not recognized its true value. Identifying these opportunities is not an easy task. It involves studying the company's financial statements, understanding its position in the industry, and evaluating its growth potential. It also means being aware of market trends and why they may have led to an incorrect valuation. Lynch teaches us that it is crucial to take a long-term view when looking for undervalued companies. It is not about quick profits, but about investing in companies that, over time, will be recognized by the market for their true value. This requires patience and a strong conviction in your investment decisions. So, when looking for your next investment opportunity, remember this key from Peter Lynch, don't just look for instant success, look for companies with unrecognized intrinsic value. With patience and diligence, you can discover those investments that are not only solid, but also profitable in the long term. Before continuing, if you're liking the video, I encourage you to leave a like and subscribe so you can continue enjoying more content like this. Let's continue. The fourth key is about balance and diversification. Lynch warns against excessive diversification, also known in English as diversification. An overly diversified portfolio can dilute your profits and make you lose sight of your best investments. Lynch's strategy is to have a portfolio diverse enough to mitigate risk, but also focused on enough best ideas so that these can have a significant impact. For example, in my case, I diversified into sectors that I understand well, but without losing focus on my most promising investments, having these companies have a great weight in my stock portfolio. The fifth key is patience. Lynch highlights the importance of taking a long-term view when investing. Many of the best investments require time to mature and show their true value. Patience is what separates successful investors from impatient ones. It's not about making quick profits, but about waiting for your investments to reach their potential. Personally, I have held some investments for years before they showed significant results, validating the importance of this key. Since, in many cases, the market takes several years until it recognizes their value, and then they have a very strong rise in a short time, even multiplying several times. 6. Learn from your mistakes. Lynch encourages investors to view mistakes as learning opportunities. No investor is perfect, and mistakes are part of the process. Reflecting on my own investment mistakes has been essential. We should not give up or give up because we have had a bad investment. Personally, for each mistake. I analyze the entire process and try to understand what went wrong and how I can avoid it in the future. This mentality of growth and learning is essential to improve as an investor. The seventh key is simplicity in investing. Lynch fervently advocates the idea that you don't need to be a Wall Street expert or have complicated investment strategies to be successful. The important thing is to keep it simple. In practice, this means choosing investments that you can easily understand and explain. If you can't simply explain what a company does or how it makes money, it may be too complex to be considered a good investment. For example, I personally focus on companies with clear and transparent business models, which allows me to make informed decisions with greater confidence. Lynch also advises avoiding financial products that you don't understand. This includes certain types of mutual funds with high fees or investments in sectors that are outside your area of knowledge. Investing in what you know and understand reduces risk and increases the chances of success long-term. But this does not mean that you should avoid learning about new areas of investment. 
On the contrary, financial education is key. However, Lynch reminds us that the accumulation of knowledge must go hand in hand with the preservation of a simple investment strategy and understandable. Simplicity in investing is not about limiting your options, but about investing in ways that are smart and understandable to you. These final keys from Peter Lynch remind us of the importance of a balanced, patient, and thoughtful approach to investing. 8. Own a house. An interesting and often overlooked key from Peter Lynch is the importance of owning a home before investing in the stock market. Lynch argues that buying a home is not only an investment in itself, but also an excellent introduction to the world of investment. When you buy a home, you engage in a deep research process. You analyze the location, property value, real estate market trends, and future projections. This diligence is similar to that required for investing in stocks. Therefore, owning a home gives you a solid foundation to understand the research necessary in stock investments. In addition, buying a house is a long-term investment decision, far removed from speculation and reactions to short-term news. This long-term perspective is crucial when investing in stocks. Learn to be patient and look more beyond temporary market fluctuations is a valuable lesson that home ownership can teach. 9. Have a tolerance for uncertainty and be curious. Lynch teaches us that being a good investor means being an eternal learner. This involves not only following the numbers and reports, but also understanding the story behind a company, its industry, and the external factors that could influence its performance. Incorporating this research mindset means looking beyond spreadsheets. It means visiting stores, testing products, talking to customers and employees, and always keeping an eye on emerging trends that can impact your investments. So, the next time you face uncertainty in your investments, remember that it is an invitation to be more curious, to investigate further. As Lynch says, the best investment is one that has been well studied and fully understood. Peter Lynch identifies certain characteristics that make some companies good, even if they are not always the most attractive at first glance. These characteristics often go unnoticed but can indicate great investment potential. Companies with a boring and unglamorous business. Lynch suggests that companies in boring or unglamorous sectors are often overlooked by investors, which can lead to undervalued valuations. Think about companies that produce essential but unexciting everyday items. Companies that deal with something unpleasant. Similar to the above, Companies that handle unpleasant tasks or products can be excellent investments due to a lack of competition and attention. Spin-offs Spin-offs, where a company splits a part of its business into a new entity, often create valuable investment opportunities. These can be misunderstood or underestimated by the market. Companies that grow in an industry that does not grow. Companies that manage to grow in stagnant or declining industries demonstrate exceptional management and a strong competitive advantage, very important characteristics. Recurring products or services. Businesses that offer products or services that require repeat purchases or constant renewals can provide a stable and predictable income stream. Management is buying shares. Finally, Lynch pays attention to whether a company's executives are buying shares in their own company. This may be a sign that those who know the company best are confident in its future. These characteristics, while they may seem counterintuitive, are key indicators that Peter Lynch uses to identify companies with hidden investment potential. Looking beyond the glitz and glamour, towards solid, fundamental businesses, can reveal some of the best investment opportunities. By applying these teachings, I have transformed my own investment strategy and have seen a significant change in my financial results. But more importantly, I have developed a deeper understanding and healthier relationship with money and investing. Investing is not just for financial experts. Each of us has the potential to be a successful investor. With patience, research, and an open mind, we too can take a step ahead of Wall Street. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Your support helps make more content like this possible. So thank you for watching.